the Defence and Aerospace Innovation Summit. All of us know that uh, over the last six, seven decades, Hyderabad has truly become a champion in this particular sector, starting from early 60s when DRDO labs were set up, then the setting up of DPSUs, then encouraging local vendor development through MSMEs, and then the advent of MNCs, and now of, of late, the emergence of MROs, drones, UAVs, etc. The journey has been very, very fulfilling, and if you ask all the stakeholders who were a part of this journey, they would, have, they would all very honestly credit the support they have received from successive governments. In our uh, present government also, after the new state of Telangana has come into being approximately 10 years ago, defense and aerospace has been given the highest priority. We have set up new defense and aerospace parks. We have a very progressive policy. We have taken as a government the responsibility of creating skills for this sector very, very seriously. And today, some of the best-known MNCs who have manufacturing facilities all over the world they actually tell us that the kind of uh, contribution the Hyderabad workforce makes for them, it is uh, as good as anywhere else. So that really fills our heart with lots of pride. Like any other sector, this sector is also getting disrupted through lots of innovation. Lots of young entrepreneurs, lots of innovators, lots of startups today are creating amazing products and solutions which have the potential to advance knowledge in this area, this sector which at one point in time used to be very closed, but thanks to the effort of the Ministry of Defense for initiating programs like the IDEX and now the forthcoming Aditi. This is one sector where uh, we are very confident that our startups also can potentially do very, very well and not just create solutions which are relevant for the stakeholders and armed forces in our country but can also offer the, these solutions to the rest of the world. But in any other, like any other startup journey, this sector also requires lots of hand-holding and support. We just had a round table a while ago in which lots of policy uh, kind of opportunities were presented before the union secretary and he was very kind enough to kind of uh, give his uh, in principle nod to look into and examine and ensure that all these policies fructify in uh, days and months to come. But like the policy environment, the handholding is also required from uh, the private sector and the DPSUs. So since there are so many of them who are present in this conference today, I hope that the, at the end of the day, the key takeaway would be that how do we create uh, strong partnerships through which uh, startups are able to understand the real problem statements that you face, get mentor, mentorship from you. Many of you have venture arms, get possibly some early stage uh, funding support also. And most importantly, get uh, guidance and uh, mentorship from your key staff members, key senior leaders to help them uh, develop uh, their solutions with precision and accuracy. So I, I'm happy that uh, T-Hub is uh, taking uh, this particular vertical in a, in a very organized and focused way. And it is very justified also, since we are in Hyderabad, which is the one of the important hubs for this sector, to focus on uh, innovation in uh, defense and aerospace on behalf of T-Hub is uh, more than justified. Myself and uh, people like BVR Mohan Redigaru are also on the board of T-Hub. So we will ensure that uh, this vertical remains uh, strong. And tomorrow, through IDEX and Aditi and other programs, we are able to support more and more startups also.